The rain pounded relentlessly against the windshield as Emily gripped the steering wheel, her knuckles white. She squinted, struggling to make out the road ahead through the torrent. A flash of lightning illuminated a crumpled figure lying motionless on the shoulder. Emily slammed on the brakes, heart pounding. Throwing open the door, she raced toward the body, pulse roaring in her ears. As she drew closer, her breath caught. The victim appeared to be just a tattered scarecrow, arm outstretched in a ghastly parody of life. Emily sagged with relief, the adrenaline rush leaving her lightheaded. Just a prank, just a cruel joke. Emily turned, preparing to trudge back to her car, when a rustling sound made her freeze. Whipping around, she saw the scarecrow's arm slowly rising, its ragged sleeve shifting aside to reveal a pale, skeletal hand. Her scream shattered the night as she backpedaled, stumbling in the mud. Impossible. This couldn't be happening, she blinked, and the scarecrow had lurched upright, its vacant eyes boring into her, jaws creaking open with a monstrous groan. Emily's feet found purchase and she ran, ran as if the hounds of hell were snapping at her heels. Fumbling with the door handle, Emily flung herself into the driver's seat, slamming the door shut behind her. Her hands shook violently as she jammed the key into the ignition and twisted. The engine roared to life. She threw the car into reverse, tires squealing as she floored the accelerator. The scarecrow loomed larger in the rear window until a sickening thump. Emily had run it down. As she shifted into drive and hit the gas, the undead monstrosity disappearing behind her, a bony finger extended upwards in a chilling farewell gesture. But Emily wasn't taking any chances. She slammed on the brakes and threw the car into reverse again. The tires kicked up mud as she accelerated backwards, running the scarecrow down once more with a sickening crunch. She shifted back into drive and surged forward, tires squealing, only to see the broken form struggling to rise. Emily's jaw clenched with grim determination. She would not let this, this thing get the best of her. Again and again, she reversed over the animated scarecrow until its ragged form finally lay mangled and unmoving in the road behind her. Only then did Emily finally allow herself to breathe, sweat streaking her ashen face. With one last look of mingled horror and relief, she floored the accelerator, leaving the remains and this godforsaken night far behind her as she sped off into the rainy darkness.